Shalom, brothers and sisters. This is your brother YCL Bay coming at you at Sham Stop and Stopping the Bullshit Before It Starts. For the record, on the record, let the record reflect. This is not sovereign citizen movement type shit. This is just regular man stand your square shit against people who want to be pimps. You know what I'm saying? You either going to be the pimp or you're going to be pimped. Either or. You know what I'm saying? And this is called child support cheerleaders. Okay? I'm going to get on this newscast about being a cheerleader and he made this woman give up the game and she put her foot in her own mouth. Let's go. I'm going to do that. So I don't, I don't know. So we decided we would go for her. We're going to talk to you. He's a cheerleader. He, he's a news investigator. Cheerleader for child support. About uh, child support. We met Aaliyah's father, Kenneth James, in yeah. his driveway. Just wondering why you haven't had a chance to pay. Just started back working. Just started back working? Yeah. James says he was in between jobs. You know, if I ain't working, I mean, how can I pay? I'm behind in my mortgage, doing what I can. When I get paid, she get paid. That sound like some pimp shit, don't it? When I get paid, she get paid. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Step up. Be a dad. Get a job. Pay your child support. Not a good situation, but not an uncommon one either. WNC investigators. Now go to cheerleader. Cheerleaders right there. Goes unpaid in North Carolina. For the past five years, the state's only collected about 65% of the money owed. Last year alone, more than $280 million was never paid. Do you believe that bullshit? You a damn fool if you do. Look across the board, a lot of child support goes unpaid. Yes, it does. Why do you think that is? There are lots of reasons. Mary Flanoy runs a child support department for Durham County. A lot of it is because non-custodial parents, be they moms or dads, don't have jobs. Non-custodial, right? Custodians. Well, they call in the non-custodial parent. The, the guy is the non-custodial. The custodian, really. So he here to clean up all the shit. A janitor. The non-janitor parent. Pay rent. You know what I'm saying? I did a video on that shit. Wake up. I think I got everything. Leanne is making ends meet working as a cashier at a thrift shop. Three nine. Do you have one of our calendars? I don't know. It's about calling and telling what's going on. As for Kenneth, the county is now withholding part of his paycheck until all the money he owes is paid. Now, they said that it wasn't no money. Now they're saying they take taking $90. See how people lie? Honesty is the best policy, people includes back payments. The most money that's collected in child support is collected by income withholding. It's no catching up. Income withholding. Did it say earnings withholding? Not with the job I got. So you don't feel you should have to pay for the... The back payment, no. He owes the money. He owes the money. The money is owed in a child support order until the judge says it's not owed. The state has a few more tools to collect overdue child support. We intercept their tax refund, federal and state, driver's license suspension, passport denial, and we also report to the credit bureau. But the problem is still in... Credit bureau. You see that? Come on, man. Enforcement because of how easy it is to stay under the radar. Here's why. People call us all the time and say, I know he lives at that address, but if we can't get them served and we can't tell the court that we actually serve this person or we serve somebody at that house, we can't, we don't have a case. I'm going to let y'all hear that again, okay? Listen. Listen. It's to stay under the radar. Here's why. People call us all the time and say, I know he lives at that address, but if we can't get them served and we can't tell the court that we actually serve this person or we serve somebody at that house, we can't, we don't have a case. They go and ring the doorbell and- um, I didn't um, say it. That's the end of that, unless we can find a new address or a new location. It's often public assistance that helps fill the gap. Yes, I get food stamps. Yes, I do, and thank goodness for them. It still impacts um, the taxpayer, food stamps, I mean, daycare, all of that. It it's all adds up. Here, you do it. Leanne's story is just one in a caseload of thousands. Do you think there needs to be a better job of enforcing this? Yes, absolutely. We're always looking, um, and sometimes people think they've gotten away from us, um, and the child could be 35. All of a sudden, we get a hit, 
on somebody got a job. But here's the reality. Some of this money um, we may never collect. You heard that? Huh? Let me rewind that shit. You hear me? Let me rewind this shit. Reality. Some of this money um, we may never collect. Let me rewind this shit again. One more time. One more fucking time. And this is reality. On somebody got a job. But here's the reality. Some of this money um, we may never collect. I mean, and that's being honest. The noise is the problem. And she being honest. Honesty is the best pal policy. Excuse me. That's often neglected. And with millions of dollars unpaid and thousands of children in need, it's time for a second look. What can we do to change that? Not a goddamn thing. Well, hey people, holler at us at Shamstoppers, shamstoppers.com, and uh, Wasil Camille Bay at gmail.com, and also a must walking empire at gmail.com. You know what I'm saying? Um, beggars cannot be motherfucking choosers, okay? And you fellas. You won't help. My energy is not free. You know what I'm saying? We put out plenty of videos educating you where to go. You know what I'm saying? You need help. Hurry up. It's election time. Get your ass in so you can slip through the cracks. You know what I'm saying? Or if not, if you don't want to do nothing, well, the bullshit going to start for you. Peace.